Now, the, the Hazard Communication Standards Act, known as the HCS, this is a rule uh, written and administered by OSHA, provides protection for employees exposed to hazardous chemicals. Understand that if it has an SDS and it has an MSDS, it is considered a hazardous chemical. All right, now, pesticides are considered hazardous chemicals. No matter what the pesticide, no matter how safe, whether it's a caution label or, or a warning label, or it is a, 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 um, uh, a poison label, understand that by definition, pesticides by law, the legal definition of pesticides are considered hazardous chemicals. By the way, so are house, most household cleaners. Um, this is not to make pesticides uh, uh, out to be evil because most household cleaners have a, uh, a, 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 a caution label. They come with warning labels, not caution labels. Most of the pesticides we use have caution labels, uh, and that is because they cause irritation. But they're considered under this act to be a, 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 a hazardous chemical, right? So now, as an employee is defined as a worker who may be exposed to hazardous chemicals under normal operating conditions in foreseeable emergencies, okay? So an employee who works, who handles the products, okay? So this is the, the classification under this. This is why this is so important, okay? Exposure or exposed means that an employee is subjected to a hazardous chemical in the course of employment through any route of entry, inhalation, ingestion, skin contact, or absorption, and includes potential accidental or possible exposure. Meaning, if you handle a pesticide, if you're around the pesticide, if you transport a pesticide, if you store a pesticide, Exposure doesn't mean that you are intoxicated or that there is toxicity. It means you were exposed to it, you're around it, you have the possibility of being exposed to the pesticide. All right. 